Hello, I'm back to read you a couple stories today. I'm actually going to read two back to back. These are another example of a folk tale, just like um, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. So while I'm reading the first one, I want you to be thinking about these story elements again. Who are the characters? Where is the setting? Where does the story take place? What's the problem? What are the events? What things happen in the story? And then what is the solution? How do they solve that problem that we heard about earlier? All right, the story I'm gonna share with you today is called The Little Red Hen. It's one of my favorites. After I read The Little Red Hen, I'm gonna to read to you The Little Yellow Chicken. And I want you to, with a grown up, talk about how these two books are the same and how they're different. Let's start with The Little Red Hen. Once upon a time, there was a little red hen who shared her tiny cottage with a goose, a cat, and a dog. The goose was a gossip. She chatted with the neighbors all day long. The cat was very vain. She brushed her fur, straightened her whiskers, and polished her claws all day long. The dog was always sleepy. He napped on the front porch swing all day long. Little Red, the little red hen ended up doing all the work around the house. She cooked, she cleaned, she washed the clothes and took out the trash. She mowed the lawn and raked the leaves. She even did all of the shopping. One morning, on her way to market, the little red hen found a few grains of wheat. She put them in the pocket of her apron. When she got home, she asked her friends, Who will plant these grains of wheat? Not I, said the goose. Meow, not I, said the cat. Oof, not I, said the dog. Then I will plant them myself, said the little red hen. And she did. When the grains of wheat began to sprout, the little red hen cried, Look, the wheat I planted is coming up. Who will help me take care of it this summer? Not I, said the goose. Meow, not I, said the cat. Oof, not I, said the dog. Then I will take care of it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. All summer long, she cared for the growing wheat. She made sure that it got enough water, and she pulled the weeds out carefully between each row. By the end of the summer, the wheat had grown tall, and when it turned from green to gold, she asked her friends, Who will help me cut and thresh this wheat? Not I, said the goose. Meow. Not I, said the cat. Woof. Not I, said the dog. Then I will cut and thresh it myself, said the little red hen, and she did. When all of the wheat had been cut and threshed, the little red hen scooped the wheat into a wheelbarrow and said, This wheat must be ground into flour. Who will help me take it to the mill? Not I, said the goose. Meow, not I, said the cat. Woof, not I, said the dog. Then I will take it myself, said the little red hen, and she did. The miller ground the wheat into flour and put it into a bag for the little red hen. Then all by herself, she pushed the big bag home in the wheelbarrow. One cool fall morning, not many days later, the little red hen got up early and said, Today would be a perfect day to bake some bread. Who will help me bake a loaf of bread with the flour I brought home from the mill? Mm, not I, said the goose. Meow, not I, said the cat. Woof, not I, said the dog. Then I will bake the bread myself, said the little red hen, and she did. She mixed the flour with milk and eggs and butter and salt. She kneaded the dough and shaped it into a nice plump loaf. Then she put the loaf in the oven and watched it as it baked. I wonder what's going to happen next. 
The smell of the baking bread soon filled the air. It smelled so delicious that the goose stopped chatting, the cat stopped brushing, and the dog stopped napping. One by one they came into the kitchen. When the little red hen took the freshly baked loaf of bread out of the oven, she said, Who will help me eat this bread? Oh, I will, said the goose. Meow, and I will, said the cat. Woof, and I will, said the dog. You will, said the little red hen. Who planted the wheat and took care of it? I did. Who cut the wheat? Who threshed it and took it to the mill? I did. Who bought the, brought the flour home and baked this loaf of bread? I did. I did it all by myself. Now I am going to eat it all by myself. And that is exactly what she did. Remember that folk tales usually teach us a lesson. Do you think that the goose and the cat and the dog learned a lesson in that one? Maybe to help out more? So thinking about our story elements, the characters in the story were the little red hen, the goose, the cat, and the dog. Where did this story take place? In their house, right outside their house, kind of in the country. The problem was nobody wanted to help the little red hen. She kept asking and asking if they would help with things, and her friends kept telling her, nope. And the solution was she taught them a lesson by eating the bread all by herself. Now, I'm going to read this story, The Little Yellow Chicken by Joy Cowley. And I want you to notice how some of the things are the same and some of the things are different. Think about how this author changed the characters, the setting, the problem, the events, or the solution, and how they kept them the same. The Little Yellow Chicken. The little yellow chicken thought he'd have a party. He said to his friends, will you help me do the shopping? His friends laughed at him. Hop it, said the frog. Buzz off, said the bee. And the big brown beetle said, stop bugging me. So the little yellow chicken went shopping by himself. Uh -oh, do you hear something that's the same? When the shopping was done, the little yellow chicken said to his friends, will you help me do the cooking? His friends shook their heads. Hop it, said the frog. Buzz off, said the bee. And the big brown beetle said, stop bugging me. So the little yellow chicken did the cooking by himself. When the cooking was done, the little yellow chicken said to his friends, will you help me set the table? His friends turned their backs. Hop it, said the frog. Buzz off, said the bee. And the big brown beetle said, Stop bugging me. So the little yellow chicken set the table by himself. Everything was ready for the party. The food smelled delicious. The friends knocked on the little yellow chicken's door. I'm hungry, said the frog. I'm starving, said the bee. And the big brown beetle said, what about me? Mm. Now they want some of the food from the party. The little yellow chicken phoned his grandmother, the little red hen. My friends wouldn't help me, he said. Now they want to come to my party. What shall I do? Hmm, she knows all about that. What do you think she told the little yellow chicken? Don't let them in, said the little red hen. Eat all the food yourself. I wonder if that's what the little yellow chicken's going to do. What do you think? But the little yellow chicken was a kind little chicken. He thought and thought. Then he opened the door. Welcome to my party, he said to his friends. Fantastic, said the frog. Amazing, said the bee. And the big brown beetle said, a scrumptious tea. Then they said to the little yellow chicken, we're sorry we were lazy. The next time you have a party, We'll do all the work. That's a good idea.
to the little yellow chicken. All right. I hope you liked both of those stories. Now, with a grown-up, talk about how those two stories were the same and how they were different. I'd also like you to talk about which one you think you would do. Would you be more like the little red hen and eat all the bread yourself? Or would you do what the little yellow chicken did and share anyway? I hope you enjoyed the stories. See you soon.